The traffic lights were with me, and I followed the street into the tunnel that went under Bunker Hill. I was halfway through when I saw the reflection of blue lights on the tunnel's exhaust-smoked green tiles. I checked the mirror and saw an LAPD cruiser behind me. I hit the blinker and pulled into the slow lane to let him pass, but the cruiser followed my lead into the same lane and came up six feet behind me. I got the picture then. I was being pulled over. I waited until I was out of the tunnel and took a right onto Figueroa. I pulled to a stop, killed the engine, and lowered the window. In the Lincoln side view mirror, a uniformed officer was walking up to my door. I saw no one else in the patrol car behind him. The officer approaching me was working alone. Can I see your license, car registration, and proof of insurance, sir? He asked. I turned to look at him. His name tag said Milton. You sure can, Officer Milton, I said. But can I ask why you pulled me over? I know I wasn't speeding, and all the lights were green. License, Milton said. Registration, insurance. Well, I guess you'll eventually tell me. My license is in my pocket, inside my coat. The other stuff is in the glove box. Which do you want me to go for first? Let's start with your license. You got it. As I pulled my wallet and worked the license out of one of its slots, I reviewed my situation and wondered if Milton had been watching the Redwood for lawyers exiting my party and possibly too tipsy to drive. There had been rumors about patrol cops doing that on nights when there was an NG celebration going on, and defense lawyers could be picked off for a variety of moving vehicle violations. I handed Milton my license and then went for the glove box. Soon enough, the officer had all he had asked for. Now, are you going to tell me what this is about? I asked. I know I didn't step out of the car, sir, Milton said. Oh, come on, man. Really? Please step out of the car. Whatever. I threw the door open, aggressively forcing Milton to take a step back, and got out. Just so you know, I said, I spent the last four hours in the Redwood, but I didn't have a drop of alcohol. I haven't had a drink in more than five years. Good for you. Please step to the back of your vehicle. Make sure your car camera is on, because this is going to be embarrassing. I walked past him to the back of the Lincoln and stepped into the lights of the patrol car behind it. You want me to walk a line? I said. Count backward? Touch my nose with my finger? What? I'm a lawyer. I know all the games, and this one is bullshit. Milton followed me to the back of the car. He was tall and lean, white, with a high and tight haircut. I saw the Metro Division badge on his shoulder and four chevrons on his long sleeves. I knew they gave them out for five years of service each. He was a veteran Metro bullethead all the way. You see why I stopped you, sir? He said. Your car has no plate. I looked down at the rear bumper of the Lincoln. There was no license plate. God damn it, I said. Ah, uh, this is some kind of prank. We were celebrating. I won a case today and walked my client. The plate says I walk him, and one of those guys must have thought it was a joke to steal the plate. I tried to think about who had left the Redwood before I did, and who would have thought this was a funny thing to do. Daly, Mills, Bernardo. It could have been anyone. Check the trunk, Milton said. Maybe it's in there. No, they would need a key to put it in the trunk, I said. I'm going to make a call, see if I can. Sir, you're not making a call until we're finished here. That's bullshit. I know the law. I'm not in custody. I can make a call. I paused there to see if Milton had any further challenge. I noticed the camera on his chest. My phone's in the car, I said. I started moving back to the open door. Sir, stop right there, Milton said from behind me. I turned around. What? He snapped on a flashlight and pointed the beam down at the ground behind the car. Is that blood? He asked. I stepped back and looked down at the cracked asphalt. The officer's light was centered on a blotch of liquid beneath the bumper of my car. It was dark maroon at the center.